So I've got here two Yamaha P-Series pianos, the P105 on my left and its brand new replacement, the P115 on my right. The P-Series from Yamaha um, means portable series, which means of course you can pick them up and carry them around, take them to gigs or have them in your home. They don't take up very much room. And these are the middle of the P-Series range. There's a, there's a model underneath it and there's a model above it as well called the P-155 and the P-255. Um, so I want to tell you a little bit about uh, what these models do and what is new on the newer version, the P-115. But firstly, here's what they sound like. If I just play a bit of piano on them both, both the volumes are set exactly the same. to P115. Okay, both very nice. So unlike the models below these in the P-series, the P35 and the P45, uh, you can get these not just in black but in white as well and you can also record on them both as well. Now these two models, um, one being a direct replacement of the other, of course means that they've got an awful lot in common. The first thing being they look nearly identical, they're exactly the same width, same amount of keys, 88 keys, same type of weighted key, uh, the same speaker size, there's an awful lot on there that is similar. But what's new on the P115? I'll tell you. Uh, the first thing, the most noticeable thing for me, is uh, they've increased the polyphony, which means uh, the polyphony is the amount of notes that can be played at the same time. And uh, in summary, what polyphony really means is you might think you've only got 10 fingers, you can't really play more than 10 notes. But you can, because of course, if you're using the pedal, you play a big note, uh, lots of notes together, and then lots of extra ones, you very quickly build up the amount of notes that you're playing. So a higher polyphony count means that those first notes don't decay as quickly. For example, so all the way through there, the lower end was still coming through, um, and this means you can put a bit more feeling in and you get a bit more response from the piano. Uh, on a traditional piano, of course, when your foot's on the sustain pedal, uh, the arm comes off the strings and there isn't a limit to how long the string will vibrate for, really. Um, and digital pianos, they're limited by the computer processing power in them. So the higher the polyphony number, the better. But this is higher than its predecessor, which for me makes it a nicer piano to play. Now, on that count, I'm always, I am loath to criticise the P105. It was the, one of the biggest selling pianos in the world um, for the past few years for uh, a good reason and that is it's a terrific piano. Uh, you've heard me play it, you know, if you're a beginner then if you can get one of those cheap because they're not in production anymore, great, get one. But uh, if you go out and you play gigs, if you've played a long time, if you're of a quite a high level, you're going to appreciate having um, the P115. So all the sounds that were on the P105 are still here. We've got um, two types of piano. The grand that you've heard is a slightly brighter grand as well. Which is nice. Uh, there's your stage pianos. Vintage piano as well. strings as well. I can combine strings with piano. A nice orchestral effect. The recording is in there too. Very easy to do as well. You just push record once, play. Push record again and it saves it onto the memory. So when you want to play it back, all you've got to do is push the play button. So 
So quite a useful feature there. Now, two more significant things that have been added on here. Uh, the first is going to be very useful if you're going out and you're playing gigs with the P105. It's got something called a sound boost on there. Now, um, if you're playing a band and you're, you're playing at a gig, it's, it's quite common for your piano, particularly at the, um, the middle to the top end, to get drowned out a little bit. They can be a bit bassy. But what the sound boost does, if I reset it to piano, there's ordinary piano. If I put the sound boost on, so you turn on a little beepy noise here, there it is. It just sets the EQ right to take away some of the bottom end and cut through the mix a bit more. Um, which is quite useful, as I say, if you go out and play gigs to cut through that great big band mix. And another thing is the ability to cut out the onboard speakers, which is useful if you're playing uh, live at a gig, if you've got your own stage monitors and you don't want these ones, it'll still take the output signal from the jack output so you can go through the PA system. The other thing is for recording at home, if you're singing into a microphone too, you can cut the speakers out so you don't get any overlay, you don't get any bleed from the keyboard through the vocal microphone. Now the other really good thing that uh, is new on uh, the P155 that we didn't have on the old version is that there's a new controller app uh, that you can get. It's only on iOS at the minute and it's quite handy. You can have it on your, on your phone or your iPad and it allows you to change the sounds and the settings on the keyboard um, on a screen. It's actually a really nice design. I'm glad to see Yamaha are doing it. I think it's going to be the way of the future. Uh, the only real drawback for me at the minute is it's not wireless. You, you do have to use a cable to connect the keyboard to it, which I think is a little bit fiddly. Um, but, you know, if, you, if you're a person that takes care with your setup on stage uh, or if you've got it set up permanently at home, it's quite nice to have it on a screen. Um, you can also save settings on there, uh, a bit like registrations in some of the other keyboards or the synthesizers. And just load them up again straight from the memory. So I think the app is a very good thing, but I'd have loved it to have been wireless. So with both of these pianos, uh, the old version and the new version, uh, they come with sustain pedals and music rests, uh, the manual and the power adapter in the boxes. Now, um, sustain pedals, all I tend to use, but if you like to use the other pedals as well, there's an attachment you can get for both of these. It's a wooden stand and it comes with the three pedals on the bottom as well. Now a few other things you can do on both of these models. Um, there are two things here called uh, rhythms and pianist styles. And what they are is a little bit like having a built-in accompaniment. Um, pianist style, for example, if I select number four, let's see, and I press turn it on and play a chord with my left hand, the piano is going to give me a bit of accompaniment, a bit like an arpeggiator. Listen. Now this one's a boogie woogie and it allows me to play with my right hand freely. Well there's slightly gentler ones, like uh, number two here is a is a little ballad. So again, if I can play a chord with my left hand, and it'll give me that just steady ballad backing, and I can play with my right hand. The other button here is the rhythm section, which will just give you a drum beat. There's quite a few to choose from. You've got 14 on here. Um, that's actually two more than the old one. If I choose something simple, number two, I'll get a little drum intro. And I can play over the top. So in summary, uh, they're both terrific pianos. Um, I'd never criticise the P105. It's one of the best sellers in the world for a reason. It's a great piano. Um, but 
if you're buying your first one, the new version of it, the P115, for me, because of the higher polyphony number on there, is a better piano. You can just get a bit more feeling from it. As I said before, um, when we were looking at P35s, um, a higher polyphony number means you, it's like a painter with access to more shades of a colour. You've, you can just put a bit more into it. And because of that, you can get more out of it. So, uh, great pianos. Have a look on our website, epianos.co.uk. Uh, we've always got good offers on them. You can buy them in bundles where you get stands with them and headphones. Or if you just want to buy the piano, you can do that too. And thanks for watching. So I've got here two Yamaha P-Series pianos, the P105 on my left and its brand new replacement, the P115 on my right. The P-Series from Yamaha um, means portable series, which means of course you can pick them up and carry them around, take them to gigs or have them in your home. They don't take up very much room. And these are the middle of the P-Series range. There's a there's a model underneath it and there's a model above it as well called the P155 and the P255. Um, so I want to tell you a little bit about uh, what these models do and what is new on the newer version, the P115. But firstly, here's what they sound like. If I just play a bit of piano on them both, both the volumes are set exactly the same. P115. 